track not too far from town down towards the Dunham River gonna have a fish this afternoon my luck has been absolutely rotten with the fishing recently but surely there's got to be a change in the luck with the, the hot hot humid temperatures we're getting at the moment the water's nice and warm You'd have to think that these barra are about to get on the bite soon. Heard a few stories about some people catching some. So. Fingers crossed, eh? Well, there she is, the Dunham River. Just got to crawl down this rocky jump up to get there. Take it really slowly to go too quick. And the old bash plates are going to get a workout and maybe some other more important stuff. Just this little tricky bit left. Very nicely. So this is the Dunham River. And it's actually not too far from where it is intersects with you, the Ord River, the Lower Ord. So if you look straight ahead up there, past those rocks in the distance, and we'll zoom in. Past that, beyond those rocks, that's the Lower Ord. Where it connects. And it is saltwater crocs central. So you just gotta keep your wits about you here. In um, dry season over the other side of the bank there you quite often see the, the crocs sunbathing on the bank there. They don't need to this time of year, the water's pretty damn warm. Well, the classic Abbott this is, and not just because of the catfish. I mean, that's a, a big old catfish that took the, um, took the live bait I had on the line. But not only do I hook the, the least desirable fish in the Kimberley, um, I've also managed to drop him onto my toe. And the poison barb, has gone straight through my shoes into my big toe. So I've just poisoned myself and those um, catfish have a really poisonous, not really poisonous, but they've got a poisonous barb that I'm filming here. And um, certainly very painful, hell like hell, but probably not, um, potentially can make you feel sick and unwell. So I haven't had too bad a reaction. I've been done by these things before. See, you little bugger, I better put you back in before you cause any more mischief. There you go, mate. Get on your way. You've had your revenge. There you go. See, that hurt. 
Well, I can't even get any more bait now. So, it looks like the fish and chips going to be over for the afternoon. We'll try again somewhere else next weekend. There's the track to get out of here. You can see the angle of the car out there. It's quite steep and ruddy, rutted and rocky. Last look at the, the Dunham. Can't make out any crocs. That's obviously, they tend to hide a bit more in this weather. Name James. So, this time the reverse of the way in. It's slightly more tricky. Especially, there's a few. Bits that jut up and down quickly. So you take it really slowly so you don't wipe out your underbody. Anyway, that's the worst of it. Now yeah, just a slow climb up the hill. It's funny these um, the videos from the driver's seat never never quite show how steep climb is but this one is steep and it's pure rock this track there's no dirt or mud just mostly flat check sections of rock with big jagged bits that stick out and you just got to be really careful for those bits you can see by the sideways movement of the car How, how uneven the surface is. One little tricky little jump up left, and then we're home free. Awesome. One last little bit of footage before we finish up this video. Um, this is Anzac Hill, and you're just looking down towards the Dunham River down there. Just we were actually fishing just down there uh, where the river is, and you can see a bit of the landscape, a bit of the East Kimberley landscape, and particularly you're looking back towards town. So the town's out that way. Um, you're looking out towards. Kelly's Knob there, and Elephant Rock, and if I zoom in there you'll see um, the Kununurra, Lake Kununurra Diversion Dam Wall, and the upper ward past that, and you're following all the way along there, up back towards Lake Argyle and the Carboid Ranges. Notice the uh, clouds starting to come over now, which we get most days, because we're in November now, and we're properly in the build-up season now. Very hot, very humid. This week, about every day is 41 degrees or over. Camping season well and truly done for the year. It's all about the fishing now, yeah? and the beer. <laughs>